We are celebrating Earth Day today when people around the world do their part to protect our planet. Organizers say this year's theme is Planet versus Plastics, which calls for the full elimination of single-use plastics by 2030 and asks companies to reduce plastic production by 60% by the year 2040. Our next guest made science cool with educating generations of students on his hit show, Bill Nye the Science Guy. And lucky us, he joins us now from Washington, D.C., where demonstrators marched for the very first Earth Day back in 1970. Bill, thank you so much for joining us. You actually attended that very first Earth Day demonstration. Talk to us about what that was like and how things have changed since. Well, it was right about here, right about where I'm standing, uh, the stage and so on. And in those days, everybody was concerned about pollution. Pollution was a big issue. River in Cleveland caught on fire, for example. There's this mythic thing, the Love Canal, with all these tox all this toxic waste. But now, uh, Earth Day is focused on pollution, but also climate change, which is this uh, global problem. And so the problem is more serious than ever. Back then, the start of Earth Day, there were perhaps three and a half, 3.7 billion people in the world. Now they're well over eight, pretty soon nine billion people all breathing and burning the same atmosphere. And so uh, it's a problem we've all got to deal with. Yeah. yeah. Bill, it's great to see you again. It's Kate. We mentioned this year's theme, planet versus plastics. W what are some ways that we can reduce our plastic waste and some other maybe steps we could all take to help protect the planet? Oh, you can't. You can't reduce it. No, I mean, just th <laughs> just don't throw plastic away. I say all the time, it's good to recycle bottles. You know, that modern plastic, modern plastic bottles is made to be recycled. And it's not, uh, the, the greatest thing to recycle if you're a recycling buff is aluminum. But plastic in the modern version of plastic is pretty good. Mm. And you, everybody, we're not going to get rid of plastic. Plastic is just has, I mean, it's just too big a term. There are too many wonderful uses yeah. of materials that can be made that are unbra virtually unbreakable and uh, can be tuned uh, by that chemically to do all sorts of wonderful tasks. Right. However, we are ending up in a situation where all this plastic is ending up in the environment. We're letting it go, we're throwing it out, and it has subtle but apparently measurable effects. And Bill. So it's a, it's a thing to reduce. Yes, yes. No, absolutely. Reducing is so important. And we're getting a taste of it now that you've just really made science accessible throughout your career. I remember growing up working class Quincy. I watched public television and I watched your show and you made climate change, learning about it accessible for younger generations. I wonder today, what are some ways parents can talk to their kids both about sustainability, Earth Day, the climate as a whole? Well, let me just say, as an observer, it's usually the other way around. The kid's going to talk to the grown-up about <laughs> recycling, driving less, being more efficient in your use of energy and so on. But that's a real thing. Speaking of grown-ups, turn out the lights or you're trying to air condition the whole outdoors and those other tropes. Uh, but, along, but along that line, the two things I tell people to do, uh, honking the horn is not one of them, but <laughs> along that line, there's two things I tell people to do talk about climate change if we were talking about climate change talking about earth day in the same way we're talking about a whole bunch of other things that are very important we'd be doing something about it and then the other big thing to do about the environment earth day climate change is vote 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 with the environment in mind with earth day in mind with the future of your kids and your grandkids and their kids in mind and working together we can change the world that's a great way to end. Bill Nye, it is great to see you again. Thank you so much. By the way, the last time we were together, we drank martinis, if you recall. <laughs> um, it was in 2022. He joined me for the drink with Kate Snow. Where we drink all kinds of things, but that day it was martinis. We talked about how he became the science guy. You can find that, by the way, on YouTube or at NBCNews.com slash the drink. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.